Crickets unpredictable. Your health shouldn't be. Get Health Vital, a health insurance with premium starting at just rupees 12 per day. Hello and welcome to a new video on Day Sports. I'm Sneashish Mukherjee and along with me, Bharat Ramraj, my colleague is here and we are both at the iconic Sharjah Cricket Stadium. And here, few hours back, New Zealand defeated Sri Lanka and they are now, you know, with four points in three matches and they will play Pakistan in the last game. And in this video, we are discussing about the potential scenario that can happen in this, you know, in this group because all four teams are mathematically, you know, capable of, you know, getting a place in the semi-finals. Australia, India, New Zealand and Pakistan. So, Bharat will come, you know, uh, you know, one team at a time. So, first Australia. Bharat, you can proceed that. What is the possible scenario for them? Yeah, obviously, uh, they're basically through. You can yeah. say three out of three, they have won. Their yeah. return rate is so good. Yeah, plus 2.76. It takes some kind of a crazy miracle for, for Australia to go out of this. Uh, even if, say, for example, New Zealand go, go to three wins, mm -hmm. India go to three wins, uh, something like Australia get bowled out batting first for 20 or something on those lines. So, a lot of crazy things have, have yes. to happen. I don't think uh, there is any chance of Australia not yes. going through. So, yes. let us eliminate that, at least from the senior race. So they will definitely go to the semi semi final. Yes, absolutely. And Sri Lanka, as we all know that, you know, they failed to win a single match in this World Cup campaign. But I think for Pakistan, there is a mathematical yes. chance. I know very slim, yes. but there is a chance. So can we just see the world? Ever? Yeah, the return rate uh, really took a beating against uh, Australia. So that is that is something, uh, I guess, again, it, it really goes against Pakistan. Obviously, for Pakistan to go through uh, New Zealand, uh, obviously have to lose to Pakistan first. Then uh, India also have to lose to Australia, so that would be three teams at uh, two wins each. Then yes, again Pakistan have to play out of their skins, uh, have to play out of the world in their last match against New Zealand to really get their net and rate up and hope that everything uh, falls in place when all the uh, league matches or all the group matches uh, conclude. That yes. is when their net and rate would be on top. Yes, absolutely. And now we'll talk about New Zealand. One of the one of the teams that are you know in the race for the playoffs or more you know and after two days win their net run rate is currently like plus 0 0.282 right. uh -huh. and they play pakistan on monday and tomorrow india will play australia so in the press conference also skipper sophie divine to told that we will keep an eye on tomorrow's game and we will know what exactly we need to do on monday so we will play accordingly like that so uh, so Bharat, I could, you know, whatever the net run it is and, you know, seeing India, Australia and seeing New Zealand, Pakistan. So, how do you see their chances going forward? Yeah, their chances are good because uh, it is very much in their own hands. So fate and is in their own in hands. Dubai. Yeah, fate is in their own hands and they would know what, what would be the exact uh, mathematical equation yes. uh, they have to basically uh, come through uh, because India's match is tomorrow yes. and their point is the net and it has uh, kind of got better now 0.282 yes. so that in that sense maybe it's like uh, even if Aust India defeat Australia maybe you can say by 5 10 runs mm -hmm. then it would be like if New Zealand are chasing uh, I'm not a mathematician but yes. just roughly I'm telling yes. uh, if yes. New Zealand are chasing in the final game they have to maybe win by say two and a half hours two and a half hours left two hours or three hours left on those lines so New Zealand basically have it uh, in their own hands yes. just have to go and play their A game in Pakistan and I, I guess uh, they are the second favorite to go up there Australia yes, second favorite okay. okay so as Bharat mentioned so now our focus will be on India we all know that tomorrow is a must win game for them you have to win that game first of all then you have to keep an eye on the New Zealand game so Bharat you know Sharjah First time you are playing in this tournament, you know, Harman Pitcott came in the press conference. He said that we will try to play our best cricket and defeat Australia first. And we'll, we will keep an eye on New Zealand game, but that is not in our hand. So, whatever is not in our hand, we will not, you know, we will not talk about those things. But what is in our hand to play the best cricket possible tomorrow and defeat Australia. So, Bharat, what do you do see in India having any chance? Yeah, I have already noted, Sarja should suit their spinners, the style of spinners they have. Sobana is obviously going to be a trump card in these conditions, I guess. Uh, even uh, someone like Shainka with their overspin, Deepthi Sharma, all these spinners should do well here and Australia might take it slightly easy tomorrow. Obviously, they still would like to win. 
Uh, but they may dress a couple of uh, players, especially Elisa Haley, who knows? Yes, uh, uh, Van, Van Lick, uh, I don't know whether she, would, yeah. whether she I think would make a difference. I don't know whether she would make a huge difference yeah. Yeah. in these conditions, but Elisa Haley missing out would definitely, if she misses out, that is, would play a part. So those things uh, should favor India from mm. that point of view. Obviously, Australia would still uh, be the sort of favorites to yep. come out Definitely. on top, but uh, India would feel that they have some chance at least uh, yes. to do well here and maybe pip Australia. Yeah. Uh, one more point I want to add as far as the net rate is concerned, uh, looking at how the conditions are played here in Sarja, I know from that perspective as well, every team would like to bat first. But even if you look at the net run rate, the way India have played in this, in this World Cup, I would say they would want to bat first, get about 130 runs, and yes. then put the squeeze on Australia. Because whenever India have some runs to the board, it seems like uh, the girls are more uh, more very much confident. Yes. So from that perspective, I guess India would like to bat first and then put the squeeze yes absolutely i think as bharat mentioned i think spot on i think both the matches will be very exciting and an exciting end to the you know to the group is waiting for everyone so let's see how both the game goes because uh, you know all both games are depending on each other so let's see which team finally make to the you know the semi-final spots so as of now me and bharat signing off for all the latest update please keep an eye on dev sports and please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you